before you, O my Lord, the sins that I have committed. Do not remember, my Lord, and do not count my iniquities. For you have chosen the publican, for you have chosen the publican, the adulteress, you have saved on the right hand thief, my Lord, you have remembered, and I too, the sinner, teach me, O my Lord to offer repentance for you do not desire the death of a sinner but rather that he returns and that his soul may live restore us O god to your salvation and deal with us according to your goodness for you are good and merciful let your compassion speedily come to us have compassion upon us all the lord god our savior and have mercy upon us according to your great mercy remember those of christ our master be among us and proclaim and say my peace i give to you the peace of my father i leave with you O king
through the prayers of our honored father, the Archpriest Pope of Atawadros, and the honored Bishop Abba. upon us, O God the Father, the Public Curator, O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord God of hosts, be with us, for we have no helper in our hardships and tribulations but you. O Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and glory forever. Amen. In Christ Jesus our Lord. I have sinned, forgive me. Let us pray. accepted us yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. Pray that God may have mercy and compassion on us, hear us, help us, and accept us applications and prayers of his sins. For thou which is good on our behalf at all times, and forgive us all, and keep the life and standing or honor by the Archpriest Papa Patawadros, and his partner in the liturgy, our father, Bishop Abba Yusuf, and forgive us all. Goodness, all of our mankind, grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear, all envy, 
all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men, the rising up of enemies' head and man. Take them away from us and from all your people and from this church and from this your holy place. But those things which are good and profitable to provide for us, for it is you have given us the authority to trade on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy. Lord, have mercy. Oh, come, let us worship the The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We are the Christian people. to all the heavenly orders. Hail to my lords and fathers, the apostles. Hail to the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hail to you, O martyr. Hail to the evangelist. Hail to the apostle Saint Mark the beholder of God, the wise virgin child, the chosen and true, O lady, the bride of Christ, Saint Verena. We 
ask you, O Son of God, to keep the life of our patriarch Pope Abba, to address the arch priest, confirm him on his throne. And his partner in the liturgy, our holy and righteous father, Abba Yusuf, the bishop, confirm him on his throne. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever in one hypostasis. We worship him and glorify him. O King of peace, grant us us your peace, establish for us your peace, and forgive us our sins. Disperse the enemies of the church, and fortify her that she may not be shaken forever. Emmanuel, our God, is now in us. Our midst with the glory of his Father and the Holy Spirit. May he bless us all and purify our hearts and heal the sicknesses of our souls and bodies. We worship you, O Christ, with your good good Father and the Holy Holy Spirit, for you have come and saved us, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Stand up for prayer. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Ask God's upon to cross towards the Father of our Lord, God and Savior Jesus Christ. We ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Remember, O Lord, the sick among your people. with any sickness, whether in this place or any place, our Christ, our God, may grant us wisdom, health, and healing, and forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy. and compassion heal them take away from them and from us every sickness and every malady the spirit of sicknesses shares away those who have long lain in maladies raise up and conform those who are afflicted by unclean spirits set them all free those who are in prison or dungeon those who are in exile or captivity or those who are held in bitter bondage O oh lord set them all free and have mercy upon them for you are he who loosens the bound and lifts up the fallen, the hope of those who have no hope and the help of those who have no helper, the comfort of the faint-hearted, the harbor of those in the storm. All souls that are distressed or bound, grant them mercy, O Lord. Grant them rest, again. grant them refreshment, grant them grace. Grant them help, grant them salvation. Grant them the forgiveness of their sins and their iniquities. As for us too, O Lord, the sicknesses of our souls heal, and also those of our bodies cure. O you, the true physician of our souls and body, the bishop of all flesh, visit us with your, with your salvation. Lord, have mercy. We ask 
can entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Remember, O Lord, the sacrifices, the offerings, and the thanksgiving of those who have offered to the honor and glory of your holy Pray for those who provide for the sacrifices, offerings, first fruits, oil, incense, coverings, reading books, and altar vessels, that Christ our God may reward them in the heavenly Jerusalem, and forgive us our upon your holy rational altar in heaven as a sweet savor of incense before your greatness in the heavens through the service of your holy angels and archangels as you have received the gifts of the righteous Abel the sacrifice of our father Abraham and the two mites of the widow so also receive the thank offerings of your servants those in abundance or those in scarcity, hidden or manifest, those who desire to offer to you but have none, and those who have offered these gifts to you this very day, give them the incorruptible instead of the corruptible, the heavenly instead of the earthly, and the eternal instead of the temporal, their houses and their stores, fill them with every good thing, surround them, O Lord, by the power of your holy angels and archangels, as they have remembered your holy name on earth. Remember them also, O Lord, in your kingdom, and in this age too, leave them not behind. Lord, have Let us praise with the angels, saying, Glory to God on the highest, peace on earth, and goodwill toward men. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, we worship you, we confess to you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord, King of heaven, God, the Father, the Pontificator, O Lord, the one and only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, takes away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. For you takes away the sin of the world, receive our praise unto you. This is the hand of his Father, have mercy on us. You are the Holy and Holy the Most High, my Lord Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. Glory be to God the Father. Amen. Every day I'll bless you and praise your holy name forever and unto the age of all ages. Amen. The night of season, my soul awaits early unto you, O my God. Your precepts shall light upon the earth. As I'm meditating on your ways, people shall come help unto me. In the morning you shall hear my voice. Early I will stand before you and you shall see me. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, who is born of the Virgin, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, who is crucified for us, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, rose from the dead, and sent heaven and have mercy upon us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and the age of all ages. Amen. O Lord, turn to have mercy on us. O Lord, turn to have mercy on us. O Lord, turn to have mercy on us. O Lord, forgive us our sins. O Lord, forgive us our iniquities. O Lord, forgive us our trespasses. O Lord, forgive us the sake of the people, heal them for the sake of the holy name. Our fathers, the brethren, have fallen asleep. O Lord, repose your souls. O you, without sin, have mercy. Here is the glory of the intricate holiness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us. Amen. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom the promise. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, amen, alleluia. Hail to we ask you, saint full of glory, the ever-virgin, that the also goes the mother of Christ. Lift up our prayers, and beloved Son, that he may forgive us our sins. Hail to the Holy Virgin, who is brought forth unto us, the true light, Christ our God. Ask the Lord on our behalf, the ever-virgin, our souls, give us our sins. O Virgin Mary, the Holy Theotokos, faithful advocate for all mankind. Intercede on our behalf for Christ, who be born, that may forgive us our sins. Hail to you, O Virgin, the right and true queen hail to the pride of our race who bore to us emmanuel we ask you to remember us all our faithful and looking before our lord jesus may forgive us our sins 
Sing to the Lord a new song, O people who love Christ our God, for he has visited us with salvation as the good one and lover of mankind. We ascribe praise unto you with voices of glorification, O our good Savior. Confirm us unto the end. Grant us, O Lord, your peace and save us from the hands of our enemies. Humiliate their counsel and heal our sicknesses. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness, O Lord, the rivers and the springs, the plants and the fruits. Bless us in our work with your heavenly blessings and send unto us from on high your grace and your goodness. The afflicted save them, the travelers return them. The bound loosen them, and those who slept repose them. Lift away your wrath from us, and deliver us from inflation, and from the snares of the demons, O giver of good things. We praise and glorify him, and exalt him above all, as the good one and lover of mankind. Have mercy according to your great mercy. Blessed are you, O Mary, the wise and the chaste, the second tabernacle, the spiritual treasure. The pure turtle dove, who declared in our land, and brought to us the fruit of the Spirit. The Spirit of consolation came upon your Son in the waters of the Jordan, of which Noah was a type. For that dove has proclaimed glad tidings to us, the peace of God for mankind. Likewise, you owe our hope, the spiritual turtle dove, have brought mercy unto us, carrying him in your womb. He is Jesus, the begun of the Father. He was born of you for us, setting free our race. Therefore let us declare first with our hearts, then also with our tongues, proclaiming and saying, O our Lord Jesus Christ, make for yourself within us a temple of your Holy Spirit, glorifying you. Hail to you, O Virgin, the right and true Queen. Hail to the pride of our race who bore to us Emmanuel. We ask you to remember us, O our faithful advocate, before our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins. Seven archangels praising as they stand before the Pantocrator, serving the hidden mystery. Michael is the first, Gabriel is the second, Raphael is the third, a symbol of the Trinity. Suriel, Sadakiel, Sarathiel, and Anetiel, the great and holy luminaries, entreating him for the creation. The cherubim and the seraphim, the thrones, dominions, and powers, the four incorporeal creatures carrying the throne of God. The twenty-four Four presbyters in the church of the firstborn, praising him without ceasing, proclaiming and saying, Holy God, heal the sick, holy, mighty, O Lord, repose those who are asleep. Holy, immortal, bless your inheritance, may your mercy and peace be a fortress to your people. Holy, 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 O Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory and honor. And when they say, Alleluia, the heavenly response on saying, Holy, I'm an Alleluia. Glory be to our God. Intercede on our behalf, O angelic armies and heavenly orders, that he may forgive us our sins. Our Lord Jesus Christ has chosen his apostles, Peter and Andrew, John and James. And the rest, Philip and Matthew, Bartholomew and Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Canaanite. Matthias and Matthias, Paul, Mark, and Luke, and the rest of the disciples who follow our Savior. Matthias, who was chosen in place of Judas, all of them and the rest followed the Master. Their voices went forth throughout the face of the whole earth, and their words have reached the ends of the world. Pray to the Lord on our behalf, my lords and fathers, the apostles, and the seventy-two disciples, that he may forgive us our sins. Oh, Mark the apostle and the evangelist, the witness of the passion of the only begotten God. You have come and enlightened us through your gospel and taught the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You brought us out of darkness into the true light, feeding us the bread of life that came down from heaven. All the tribes of the earth were blessed through you, and your words have reached the ends of the world. Hail to you, O martyr, hail to the evangelist, hail to the apostle, mark the beholder of God. Pray to the Lord on our behalf, O beholder of God, the evangelist, mark the apostle, that he may 
forgive us our sins. Truly you are blessed, the Holy Verena, the Virgin, the Bride of Christ, the pure Bridegroom. For you despise the whole glory of this world and the pride of this life, and you love the purity. She embarrassed Satan and his evil demons through her great endurance and the purity of her virginity. For truly great is the chosen sanctity of Saint Verena, the Bride of Christ. She completed her life in her great humility. She reposed with the saints in the land of the living. Hail, O the Virgin Maiden, the holy adornment, the pure bride, the true Saint Verena. Hail to you, O saints. Hail to you, O pure one. Hail to you, the ascetic one, the bride of the master. Ask the Lord on our behalf, O the bride of Christ, the true Saint Verena, that he may forgive us our sins. Watch over us from on high where you dwell, O lady of us all, the ever virgin Theotokos. Ask of him whom you have born, our good Savior, to take away our troubles and grant us his peace. Hail to you, O virgin, the right and true queen. Hail to the pride of our race who bore to us Emmanuel. We ask you to remember us, so our faithful advocate before our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may forgive us our sins. We exalt you, the mother of the true light. We glorify you, O Saint Theotokos, for your brought forth unto us, Savior of the whole world. He came and saved our souls. Glory be to our Master, our King, Christ, the pride of the apostles, the crown, the martyrs, the joy of the righteous, the firmness of the churches, the forgiveness of sins. We proclaim, Lord, you in one Godhead, we worship him, we glorify him. Lord, Lord have mercy, Lord, Lord have mercy, Lord, bless him. him. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, be God not created, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things are made, who for us men for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary became man. He is crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried. The third day rose from the dead, according to the scriptures, ascended into the heavens. He sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again his glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. Yes, who believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who so by prophets, and the Holy Catholic Solemn Church, we confess and baptize mission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. God have mercy upon us. Upon us, have compassion upon us.
Seven times every day I will praise your name with all my heart, O God of everyone. I remembered your name and I was comforted, O King of the ages and God of Jesus Christ, our true God, who has come for our salvation, was incarnate. He was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of Mary, the pure bride. And changed our sorrow and all our troubles to joy for our hearts and total rejoicing. Let us worship him and sing to his mother Mary, the beautiful dove. And let us all proclaim with the voice of joy, sing hell to you, Mary, the mother of Emmanuel. Hail to you, Mary, the salvation of our father, Adam. Hail to you, Mary, the mother of the refuge. Hail to you, Mary, the rejoicing of Eve. Hail to you, Mary, the joy of all generations. Hail to you, Mary, the joy of Abel, the just. Hail to you, Mary, the true virgin. Hail to you, Mary, the salvation of Noah. Hail to you, Mary, the chaste and undefiled. Hail to you, Mary, the grace of Abraham. Hail to you, Mary, the unfading crown. Hail to you, Mary, the redemption of Saint Isaac. Hail to you, Mary, the mother of the holy. Hail to you, Mary, the rejoicing of Jacob. Hail to you, Mary, myriads of myriads. Hail to you, Mary, the pride of Judah. Hail to you, Mary, the mother of the master. Hail to you, Mary, the preaching of Moses. Hail to you, Mary, the mother of the master. Hail to you, Mary, the honor of Samuel. Hail to you, Mary, the pride of Israel. Hail to you, Mary, the steadfastness of Job the just. Hail to you, Mary, the precious stone. Hail to you, Mary, the mother of the beloved. Hail to you, Mary, the daughter of King David. Hail to you, Mary, the friend of Solomon. Hail to you, Mary, the exaltation of the righteous. Hail to you, Mary, the redemption of Isaiah. Hail to you, Mary, the healing of Jeremiah. Hail to you, Mary, the knowledge of Ezekiel. Hail to you, Mary, the grace of Daniel. Hail to you, Mary, the power of Elijah. Hail to you, Mary, 
pray the grace of Elisha. Hail to you, Mary, the mother of God. Hail to you, Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. Hail to you, Mary, the beautiful dove. Hail to you, Mary, the mother of the Son of God. Hail to you, Mary, who was witnessed by all the prophets and they said, Behold, God the Word was incarnate of you in an indescribable unity. You are truly exalted more than the rod of Aaron, O oh, full of grace. What is the rod of Mary? For it is the symbol of her virginity. She conceived and gave birth without a man to the Son of the Highest, the Word Himself. Through her prayers and intercessions, O Lord, open unto us the gates of the church. I entreat you, O Mother of God, keep the gates of the church open to the faithful. Let us ask her to intercede for us before her beloved that he may forgive us. You are called, O Virgin Mary, the holy flower of incense, which came out and blossomed from the roots of the patriarchs and the prophets like the rod of Aaron the priest which blossomed and brought forth fruit for you gave birth to the word without the seed of man and your virginity was not corrupted wherefore we glorify you as the mother of god ask your son to forgive us. O King of peace, grant us your peace. Establish for us your peace and forgive us our sins. Disperse the enemies of the church and fortify that she may not be shaken forever. Is now an hour missed with the glory of his Father and the Holy Spirit. May he bless us all and purify our hearts and heal the sicknesses of our souls and bodies. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you have come and saved us. Hail to you, the saint, the pure, and the chaste, the friend of the sin. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena, you departed from Thebes and accompanied by the legion. You were loved by everyone. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. The prayers and the Lord guided you. You lived under his protection. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. You shone like a beacon. O Mother of Virgins, you counseled with great skill. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. You worked as a nurse, curing those with sickness through prayers and a new heart. Blessed 
Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. Through prayers you resisted Satan. You chose Christ as your groom, the ruler of your heart. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. The governors enraged at you, but you resisted the wicked. You chose the peacemaker. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. You cured a governor from a disease that overtook him through prayers and supplications. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. You return to your place to pray with your sisters to glorify who protected you. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. You ask for for the food with fervent prayers and the flower you found in heaps. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. Your fame reached the people, so you fled for your salvation to the Lord, the cornerstone. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. You fled to an island where serpents were about and paths that were difficult. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. You prayed and called upon he whom you loved, and he overshadowed you. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. You ministered with love to enemies and friends, imitating your Lord. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. You served the poor and supported the weary. Your life was a light. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. You cared for everyone, guiding them to the Lord in tribulation. You pray, blessed are you, O Saint Verena. You were falsely accused, and snares were set up for you. The King of Ages saved you. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. Solitude you have chosen, asceticism you have practiced, and you care for everyone. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. The Mother of Light appeared to you with a Aroma of incense as the Lord commanded. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. You departed in peace from the world frail with suffering. Your mission was complete. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. Remember us before Jesus, O chaste and bride, the hidden treasure. Blessed are you, O Saint Verena. The mention of your name is in all the believers. Mouth. They all say, O oh God of Saint Verena, help all Ewa. 
forgive us our sins. The sick, O oh Lord, heal them, those who slept, repose them, and all our brethren in distress. Help us, my Lord, and all of them. May God bless us and let us bless his holy name and may his praise be always on our lips. Blessed be the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the perfect Trinity. We worship Him and glorify Him. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Our God, King of all ages, who has granted us this amazing gift full of glory, which is the relics of St. Verena, who had strived well for your name's sake, expelled all the power of the enemy and carried her holy cross for the sake of the heavenly dwellings of life. And now her holy relics is venerated on earth in this honor the church where we worship you. You have also granted her healing springs to cure all sickness in the people and expel evil spirits. Now our good master, lover of mankind, we ask and entreat you through the suffering of this holy saint, which she accepted for your blessed name, to give us health through her holy relics, and to grant us, O our Savior, and to all those who worship you, salvation, forgiveness of sins, healing to our souls, bodies, and spirits, and to give them and us a good portion of salvation, that we may glorify you, O Christ our God, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, the life giver who is one essence with you, now and at all time, and the age of all ages. Amen. Let us pray. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Our Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, to sit to us in the honor of the Savior, and all the apostles, the apostles, the prophets, and righteous men, have desired to see the thing which you see us and have not seen them, and to hear to the thing which you hear and have not heard them, but as for you, blessed you are, your eyes for the sea and your ears for the hear me, we be worthy to hear and to act according to your holy gospel through the prayers of our sins. Pray for the holy gospel. Lord, have remember them and our supplications and prayers which we offer up unto you, O Lord, O Lord our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of us all, the salvation of us all, the hope of us all the healing of our soul and the resurrection of our soul. David, hallelujah. But let all those who rejoice who put their trust in you, let them ever shout for joy because you defend them. Alleluia.
us the righteous. Alleluia, alleluia. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness, O Lord. The rivers, the uh, springs, the uh, plants, and the fruits of fear of God and let us hear the holy God is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts bless O Lord a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew the Evangelist. Glory to you, O Savior and King of us all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to whom is glory forever. Amen. Do not think that I came to bring peace on earth. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's enemies will be those of his own household. He who loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he who loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he who does not take his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. He who finds his life will lose it, and he who loses his life for my sake will find it. He receives, he receives me, and he who receives me, he receives him who sent me. He who receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he who receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives one of these little ones only a cup of cold water in the name of a disciple, uh, surely I say to you, he shall by no means lose his reward. Glory be to God for Temptation, deliver us from evil one. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, bow your hearts to the Lord. Before you, O Lord. 
Let us attain the fear of God. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son and Logos of God the Father, who has broken every bond of our sins through his saving and life-giving sufferings, who breathed in the face of his holy disciples and saintly apostles and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. You also now, our Master, through your holy apostle, have given grace to those for a time labor in the priesthood in your holy church to forgive sins upon the earth and to bind and to lose the bond of iniquities. We ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, for your servants, those who bow their heads before your holy glory, dispense unto us your mercy, lose the bond of our iniquities. If we have committed any sin against you, no longer and no strong heart or in deed, or in word or from faint heartedness, O Master, who knows the weakness of men as a good one and lover of mankind. O God, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Bless us, absorb us, and all your people. Purify us, fill us with your fear, strengthen us and through goodwill. For you are our God, and glory, honor, dominion, and worship are due to you together with good Father, Holy Spirit, now and forever, and the age of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. We proclaim and say, O our Lord, Jesus Christ, bless the crown of the year with your goodness, O Lord. The rivers, the springs, the plants, and save us and have mercy on us. You have received the grace of Moses, the priesthood of Melchizedek, the excellent understanding of the long life of Methuselah and the spirit, the paraclete who came upon the apostles. May the Lord preserve the life and rising of our honored father, the archpriest Pope Abatawadros, and our father, the bishop Abba Yusuf. May the God of heaven confirm them on their thrones for many years and peaceful. May he subdue all of their enemies under their feet speedily. Pray to Christ on our behalf that he may forgive us our sins in peace according to his great mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us, amen, bless me, bless me. Lo, the repentance, forgive me, say the blessing. Christ our God, amen, so be it. O King of peace, grant us your peace, establish for us your peace, forgive us our sins. Yours is the power, glory, blessing, and majesty forever, amen. O Lord, make us words to pray thankfully, our Father, who art in Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us there our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we against us. Lead us not temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory for Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy on me, my dear Leah, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Glory be to the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever, and the age of religious, Amen. Prayer and praises of the third hour of this blessed day offered to Christ my God and my King, beseeching him to forgive my sins from Psalms our Father David the Prophet. May his blessings be with us all. Amen.
Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Amen, hallelujah. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord have mercy. Glory be to the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever on the age of ages. Amen, prayer and praises of the sixth hour of this blessed day. I offer to Christ my God and my King, teaching him to forgive my sins from Psalms our Father David the Prophet. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. Glory be to our God, holy, 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 the holy gospel according to St. John. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. I'm the comforter to all these for him, the Father of Son, my name has come. He shall teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I have said unto you. My peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. And as the world gives, do I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard how I said I go away and come again unto you. If you loved me, you would rejoice because I said I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And I have told you before it comes to pass, that when it comes to pass, you might believe. I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world comes and has nothing in me. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me a commandment, so I do arise, let us go from here. I am the true vine, my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes them and bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean to the word which I have spoken unto you, abide in me, and I in you. Glory be to God forever, amen. May the saying of God be fulfilled in peace. Worship you, Christ our God, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you have come and saved us. Have mercy upon us. Your Holy Spirit, O Lord, whom you sent forth upon your holy disciples and honored apostles in the third hour, do not take him away from us, O good one, but renew him within us, creating me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me out from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit away from me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Lord, who send down your Holy Spirit upon your holy disciples, and your honored apostles in the third hour, do not take him out from us, O good one, but we ask you to renew him within us. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the Word, a right and life-giving spirit, a spirit of prophecy and chastity, a spirit of fullness, righteousness, and authority, O the Almighty One. For you are the light of our souls, O you who give light to every man that comes in the world. Have mercy on us. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. O Theotokos, you are the true vine who bore the cluster of life. We ask you, full of grace with the apostles, for the salvation of our souls. Blessed is the Lord our God, blessed is the Lord day by day. He prepares our way for his God of our salvation. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. You are the Lord of the Lord, and 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 the Lord of the Lord. Hello, my dear Lord, and the Lord of the 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 Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. كما كنت مع تلاميذ كالم خلص وعطيته مسلم قالوا ما كن معنا ونحن سلامك وخلصنا ونجي نفوسنا. كنين كعين كسوسيون استونيون آمين. إذ ما وقفنا في هيكلك المقدس عبس كأننا قائمون في السماء يا والدة لا أنت باب السماء افتح لنا باب الرحمة. God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal. Born in the Virgin, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, who was crucified for us, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, who rose from the dead and sent into heavens, have mercy upon us. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the age of all ages. Amen. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. The Lord forgive us our sins. The Lord forgive us our iniquities. The Lord forgive us our trespasses. The Lord forbid the sake of your people, heal them for the sake of your holy name. Our Father and the brethren who have fallen asleep, O Lord, repose your souls. 
Are you without sin, Lord, have mercy on us. Are you without sin, Lord, help us and receive our supplications. Here is the glory of the minister for holiness. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, bless them. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those trespass. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Amen. The ever virgin, the field to close the mother of Christ, lift up our prayers unto your beloveds, and he may forgive us our sins. Now to the holy virgin has brought forth unto us the true light, Christ our God. Ask the Lord on our behalf that it may have mercy on our souls and forgive us our sins. O Virgin Mary, the holy field to close the faithful advocate for all mankind, intercede on our behalf before Christ, who may bore that it may forgive us our sins. Hail to you, O Virgin, the right and true Queen. Hail to the pride of our race who bore to us Emmanuel. We ask you to remember us, our faithful advocate, before our Lord Jesus Christ, that it may forgive us our sins. O you who on the sixth day of sorrows knelt to the cross for the sin of our father Adam, there is commit and paradise, still that the writing of our sins of Christ our God and save us. I cried to the Lord and he heard me. God, hear my prayers and refuse my petition, be attentive to me and hear me in the evening, in the morning and midday. I say my words and hear them, my foot and deliver my soul in peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O Jesus Christ, our God, who is nailed to the cross in the sixth hour and kills him by the tree. And by your death you made alive the dead man whom you could do the hand and not died in sin. Put to this our pains by your healing and life giving passions. And by the name of Jesus, we are now to discover my soul, so the sense of the earthly deeds and worldly loss. To the remembrance of your heavenly commandments, according to your compassion. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Since we have no favor, nor excuse, nor justification, because of our many sins, we are on Lord Thomas, born of you, as you talk with the Virgin. For our and acceptable the intercession of our Savior, O Holy Mother, do not exclude sinners. From your intercession with him whom you bore for his merciful and able to save us, because he suffered for us to deliver us, let your compassion speedily reach us. For we are exceedingly humbled, help us, O God, our Savior, for the glory of your name. O Lord, deliver us and forgive us our sins for the sake of your holy name. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. You wrote salvation in the midst of all the earth. O Christ, our God, as you stretch your holy hands on the cross, therefore all nations cry out, saying, Glory be to you, O Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. We worship your corruptible person, O good one, asking for the forgiveness of our sins, O Christ our God, for of your will. You are pleased to be lifted on, up onto the cross to deliver those whom you've created from the bondage of the enemy. We cry out unto you and give thanks to you, for you have filled all with joy, O Savior. When you came to help the world, Lord, glory be to you. Now and ever and unto the ages of the ages. Amen. You are she who is full of grace, O Theotokos, the virgin, we praise you, for through the cross of your son, Hades fell down and death was abolished. We were dead, but we were raised and became worthy of eternal life and gained the delight of the first paradise. Therefore, we thankfully glorify the immortal Christ, our God. We exalt you, the mother of the true light. We glorify you, O Saint Theotokos, who brought forth unto us the Savior of the whole world. He came and saved our souls. Glory be to our Master, our King, Christ, the part of the Apostles, the Crown of the Martyrs, the joy of the righteous, the members of the Church, the forgiveness of sins. Proclaim the Holy Trinity in one Godhead. We worship Him and glorify Him. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless us. We believe in one God, God, the Father, the Pentecostal, creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen. 
We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. Salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified for us, and Pontius Pilate suffered and was buried, and the third day rose from the dead. <laughs> to the reign of his Father, and he has come again in his glory, he judged the living dead, with whom shall have know him. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father, the Son, is worshiped and glorified, was so by our prophets, and holy Catholic Apostolic Church, we confess in baptism of your sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and life of the age to come. Amen. We ask you, the name of God, the meek, who takes away the sins of the whole world, to hear us, have mercy on us, and forgive us our sins. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy, O Lord. Kyrie Eleison, hear us and have mercy. Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, have mercy, O Lord. Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, hear us. And have mercy. Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, Lord have mercy. Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, have mercy, O Lord. Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, hear us and have mercy. Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, Lord have mercy. Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison. Eleison, have mercy, O Lord. Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, hear us and have mercy. Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Holy, holy, holy Lord of Sabaoth, both heaven and earth are full of your glory and honor. Have mercy on us, O God, the Father, the Pontifactor, the Holy Trinity. Have mercy on us, O Lord God of hosts, be with us. We have no helper in our hardships and tribulations but you. Absolve, forgive, and omit, O God, of transgressions, those which you have committed willingly and those which you have committed unwillingly. Those which have committed knowingly and those which have committed unknowingly, the hidden and manifest, O Lord, forgive us for the sake of your holy name which is called upon us. Let it be according to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sins. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In Christ Jesus our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Glory to the all holy trinity, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, peace and edification to the one only holy, Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God. Amen. Remember, O Lord, those who have brought to you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Sacrifices and those who bring them, Lord, have mercy. Alleluia. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. O Lord, 
save us, O Lord, straighten our ways. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator. Amen. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Amen. One is the Holy Father, one is the Holy Son, one is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God forever. Amen. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Lord him, all your peoples. For his mercy has been strengthened towards us, and the truth of the Lord abides forever. Amen. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages, of the ages, amen, alleluia. Let us pray. And the four prayers. Lord, have mercy. Let us give thanks to the beneficent and merciful God, the Father of our Lord, God and Savior Jesus Christ, for he has covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to yourself, himself, spared us, supported us, and has brought us to this hour. Let us also ask him, the Lord our God, the Pantocrator, to guard us in all peace this holy day and all the days of our life. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. O Master, Lord, God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you for everything, concerning everything and in everything, for you have covered us, helped us, guarded us, accepted us to yourself, spared us, supported us, and have brought us to this hour. God may have mercy and compassion on us. Hear us, help us, and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints for that which is good on our behalf at all. All times and to keep the life and standing of our honored father, the Archpriest Pope of Ottawa, Adros, and his partner in the liturgy, our father, the Bishop of Ayu, Usif. And make us worthy to partake of the communion of his holy and blessed mysteries for the remission of our
Therefore, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind. Grant us to complete this holy day and all the days of our life in all peace with your fear, all envy, all temptation, all the work of Satan, the counsel of wicked men, and the rising up of enemies hidden and manifest. Take them away from us and from all your people and from this table and from this your holy place. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us, for it is you have given us the authority to trade on serpents and scorpions and upon all the power of the enemy. Ministers of this day, the Hegumen, the priests, the deacons, the clerus, all the people, and my weak self, be absolved from the mouth of the All Holy Trinity, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and from the mouth of the one only Holy Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God, from the mouth of the Twelve Apostles, from the mouth of the Beholder of God, St. Mark is a pure Apostle and Evangelist. Peter X and Severus, our teacher, discourse, Saint Athanasius the Apostolic, Saint Peter the Holy Martyr and the Archpriest, Saint John Chrysostom, Saint Cyril, Saint Basil, Saint Gregory. From the mouth of the 300 at Nicaea, 150 at Constantinople, 200 at Ephesus. From the mouth of our own Father, the Archpriest, Baba Batavadros. From my own mouth, being the least for bliss and full of glory, is your holy name, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever, on the edge of the ages. Amen. Of our honored Father, the Archpriest Pope of Atawadros, and our Father, the Bishop.
through the intercessions of the Theoto called Saint Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins through the intercessions of the seven archangels and the heavenly orders oh lord grant us the forgiveness of our sins through the prayers of my lords and fathers the apostles and the rest of the disciples oh lord grant us the forgiveness of our sins through the prayers of the beholder of god the evangelist mark the apostle oh, Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Through the prayers of the bride of Christ, the righteous Saint Verena, oh, oh Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Through the prayers of the saints, on this day, each one according to their names, O oh Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Through their prayers, keep the life of our honored Father, the Archpriest Pope. Abatawadros, O oh Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. Through their prayers, keep the life of our honored and righteous Father, Ava Yusuf the Bishop, O oh Lord. us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you have come and saved us. Have mercy on us. Eagerly waits for the revealing 
of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected to it in hope. Because of the, crea the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For, for the creation was because the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the, the whole creation groans and labors with birth pangs together until now. Not only that, but we also we have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves grow within ourselves, eagerly waiting for the adoption the redemption of our body. For we were saved in this hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For why does one still hope for what he sees? But if we, if we hope for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weakness. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit of Himself makes intercession for us with groaning which cannot be uttered. Now, he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Spirit is, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God to those who are the called according to his purpose, for whom he foreknew. He also predestined to be confronted, conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, who, whom he predestined, this he also called, whom he called, this he also justified, and whom he justified, this he also glorified. The grace of God the Father be with you all. Amen. The Catholic Epistle from the first bit of our teacher, St. Peter, may his holy blessed be with us all. Amen. Finally, all of you be of one mind, having compassion for one another. Love as brothers, be tender hearted, be courteous not returning evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, blessing, knowing that you were called to this, that you may inherit a blessing. For he who would love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him seek peace and pursue it. For the eye of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. And who is he who will harm you if you become followers of what is good? But even if you should suffer for righteousness' sake, you are blessed. And do not be afraid of their threats, nor be troubled. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and always be ready for to give a defense to everyone who asks you for a reason, for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Do not love the world or the things in the world. The world has passed away in its lusts, but you does the will of God abides forever. Amen. Bless the crown of the For you have 
have come and saved us, have mercy on us. A reading from the Acts of our Fathers, the pure apostles who were invested with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May their blessings be with us all. Amen. And about that time, there arose a great commotion about the way. For a certain man named Demetrius, a silversmith, who made silver shrines of Diana, brought no small profit to the craftsmen. So he called them together with the workers of similar occupation and said, Men, you know that we have our prosperity by this trade. Moreover, you see and hear that not only at Ephesus, but throughout almost all Asia, this Paul has persuaded and turned away many people, saying that they are not gods which are made with hands. So not only is this trade of ours in danger of falling into disrepute, but also the temple of the great goddess Diana may be despised and her magnificence destroyed, whom all Asia and the world worship. Now when they heard this, they were full of wrath and cried out, saying, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. So the whole city was filled with confusion and rushed into the theater with one accord. Having seized Gaius and Aristarchus, Macedonians, Paul's travel companions, And when Paul wanted to go into the people, the disciples would not allow him. Then some of the officials of Asia, who were his friends, sent to him pleading that he would not venture into the theater. Some therefore cried one thing and some another, for the assembly was confused, and most of them did not know why they had come together. And they drew Alexander out of the multitude, the Jews putting him forward. And Alexander motioned with his hand and wanted to make his defense to the people. But when they found out that he was a Jew, all with one voice cried out for about two hours, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. And when the city clerk had quieted the crowd, he said, Men of Ephesus, what man is there who does not know that the city of the Ephesians is temple guardian of the great goddess Diana and of the image which fell down from Zeus? Therefore, since these things cannot be denied, you ought to be quiet and do nothing rashly. For you have brought these men here who are neither robbers of temples nor blasphemers of your goddess. Therefore, if Demetrius and his fellow craftsmen have a case against anyone, the courts are open and there are proconsuls. Let them bring charges against one another. But if you have any other iniquity to make, it shall be determined in the law and the lawful assembly. For we are in danger of being called in question for today's uproar, there being no reason which we may give to account for this disorderly gathering. And when he had said these things, he dismissed the assembly. The word of the Lord shall grow, multiply, be mighty, and be conformed to the Holy Church of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Today is the 11th day of the blessed month of Tud. May God start it in goodness. May he renew it for us for many years and peaceful times, while our sins and iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our merciful Lord, amen. On this day, St. Basilides, who was a member of the cabinet of a counselor due the reign of, due, during the reign of Emperor Numerian, was martyred. Numerian married Basilides' sister. Basilides had two sons, Eusebius and Macarius. When the Persians raged war against Rome, Emperor Numerian sent his son, Justus, to fight them. Emperor Numerian was killed by his in-law, Arius Aper. Diocletian, who was, an, who was Emperor Numerian's servant, rose up and killed Arius. The soldiers rallied around the Cletian and proclaimed him emperor in Antioch in the year 284 AD. After a while, the Cletian renounced the Lord Christ and worshiped the idols. On the 23rd of February of the year 303 AD, he issued an edict to persecute the Christians. He started by eliminating the royal family. He sent Basilides to Maestres, the governor of the five western city, the Pantopolis. He tortured him severely, once with the Hinbazine and the other time by placing him in a cauldron filled with boiling oil. Then he was lifted up on a spiral device with an iron saw, and the governor did not leave out any means of torturing him. When Maestres saw that Basilides remained steadfast in his faith in the Lord Christ, he ordered him to be beheaded, so he received the crown of martyrdom. The blessing of his prayers be with us all. Amen. On this day also, the three saintly farmers in Isna were martyred. They were Soros, Antokian, and Mesh Ori. Now, after the martyrdom of the people of Isna, Arianus, the governor, took Bishop Ammonius, the bishop of Isna, a prisoner with him to Aswan. And on his way back, 
he entered the city and found no one there. He went to the northern part of the city where he met these three farmers. They cried out with one accord saying, we are Christians. The governor replied, our swords are dull from much use. So the men said, we have our axes, kill us with them. He ordered the soldiers to slay them. There was a big rock. The men put their necks on it and the soldiers beheaded them with their own axes. Accordingly, they received the crown of martyrdom. Their bodies were buried in their special splendid shrine in, the church, in their church in the middle of the city of Isna, where prayers and venerations are celebrated on their feast day. The blessing of their prayers be with us, and glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, who was born of the Virgin, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, who was crucified for us, have mercy upon us. Holy Holy and mortal who rose from the dead and ascended into the heavens, have mercy upon us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever. Let us pray. Send up for prayer. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Oh, Master Lord Jesus Christ, our God. Sit to St. John, our disciples and holy apostles, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things that you see and have not seen them, and to hear the things that you hear and have not heard them. But as for you, blessed are your eyes for the see and your ears for the hear. May we be worthy to hear and act according to holy gospels, through the prayers of you. Pray for the Holy Gospel. Lord, have mercy. Remember us, our Master, all those who have bidden us to remember them in our supplications and prayers which we offer up unto you, Lord our God. Those who have already fallen asleep, repose them. Those who are sick, heal them. For you are the life of us all, salvation of us all, the hope of us all, the healing of us all, and the resurrection of us all. The of David say, Ali. Israel is he who gives his strength and power to his people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. But let the right 
چز بی اینگلد Let them rejoice before God Yes, let them rejoice exceedingly Alleluia, Alleluia Bless the crown of the year With your goodness, O oh Lord the rivers, the uh, springs, the uh, plants, and the fruits, alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord of hosts. Bless O Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke the Evangelist. Glory to you, O Lord. Oh, All Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to whom is glory forever. Amen. And I say to you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, and after that have no more that they can do. But I will show you whom you should fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has power to cast into hell. Yes, I say to you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two copper coins, and not one of them is forgotten before God? But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore. You are of more value than many sparrows. Also, I say to you, whoever confesses me before men, him the Son of Man also will confess before the angels of God. But he who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. And anyone who speaks a word again is the Son of Man, it will be forgiven him. But to him who blasphemes again is the Holy Spirit, it will not be forgiven. Now when they bring you to the synagogues and magistrates and authorities, do not worry about how or what you should answer or what you should say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. Glory be to God for Crown of the year.
Lamb of God, let us attend. Lord, have mercy. Let her, Lord, have mercy truly. Father, Pantocrator, creator of heaven and earth and of all things seen and unseen, we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, beyond the Father for all ages, light of light, true God of true God, beyond not created, of oneness of the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us meant for our salvation, came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man, and is crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, on the third day rose from the dead. According to the scriptures, ascend the heavens, is to the right hand of his Father, fa judge living dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. Yes, believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father, the Son, and his worship glorified, so by our prophets, one holy Catholic, a solid church, we confess and baptize the mission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. I have sinned. Forgive me. Let us pray. Stand up for prayer. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. الذي جبل الإنسان على غير فساد والموت الذي دخل إلى العالم بحسد إبليس أدمته بالزور المحي الذي لابنك الوحيد ربنا وإلهنا ومخلصنا يسوع الماسي وملأت الأرض من السلام السماء هذه التي تصبحك بأجناد الملائكة قائلين المجد لله في الأعالي وعلى الأرض السلام وفي الناس المصار صلوا من أجل السلام الكامل والمحبة والقبلة الطاهرة الرسول يا رب سرتك يا الله املا قلوبنا من سلامك وطهرنا من كل دنس ومن كل غش ومن كل رياء ومن كل فعل خبيث ومن تذكار الشر الملبس الموت وجعلنا مساقين كلنا يا سيدنا أن نقبل بعضنا بعضا بقبلة مقدسة لكي ننال بغير وقوع في دينونة من موهبة غير الميت السمائية بالمسيح يسوع ربي انا او اور جود جاد هو ابوينتد هي مان ان اساف تو تشانت ان يور هولي بليسز او يو هو جرانت ديفيد ذا بروفيت تو تشانت وذ ذا سالتري ذا هارب اند ذا لاير وذ تين سترينجز او يو هاف سيت اوت اوف ذا ماوس اوف بيبس اند نيرسينج انفانس 
you have perfected praise or you established praise in your holy church that your people may worship you with some chant spiritual songs. We ask you, Lord, to give your grace to these, your servant, so that they may do the labor of the chanter in your holy church and sing to you with hymns, chant spiritual songs, chanting from their hearts to the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O our God, who commanded us through the prophet David's mouth, saying, Sing to the Lord a new song and praise the Lord. For a psalm is a good thing, let praise be sweet to our God. We ask you, o Lord, to grant your servants the grace of praise and chanting in the Holy Church. Grant them the ability to chant with good understanding so that they may chant you from the depth of their hearts. In the spirit of prayer and worship, grant that they may serve you with their hearts, their mouths, and their hymns, and accept their chants with savor of incense before you. Remove from them the spirit of pride, boasting a love of vain glory. Make them good servants. <laughs> Master, Lord God, the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, we ask and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, for these your servants who stand before you, who came to your Catholic and Apostolic Church, shine on them with the sweetness of your holy words, grant them to chant spiritual praise and understanding, may they become worthy to begin their service in faithfulness, and worship you in understanding and purity, sanctify them, bless them, Fill them with your fear, guard them with your angelic power, enrich them with every good gift and perfect talent, that they may live according to your holy and blessed will that is pleasing to you, and be called to the most perfect and great growth of your Holy Spirit, by your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Michael, a chanter in the Holy Orthodox Church of God, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator. Amen. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Amen. Arsani, a chanter in the Holy Orthodox Church of God, Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator. Amen. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Amen. Stephen, a chanter in the Holy Orthodox Church of God, in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator. Amen. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Amen. Shinoda the chanter in the Holy Orthodox Church of God, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator. Amen. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Amen. Look, a chanter in the Holy Orthodox Church of God. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator. Amen. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Amen.
enters. Christian, a reader in the Holy Orthodox Church of God, Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator. Amen. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Amen. Let us a reader in the Holy Orthodox Church of God. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator. Amen. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Amen. Matthew, a reader in the Holy Orthodox Church of God, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator. Amen. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Amen. We ask and beseech you, O Lord God, the Pantocrator, accept these, your servants, as readers in your holy church, instruct them in your commandments, give them understanding of your justifications, grant to them that with fear they may show obedience to you, rendering them worthy to be chosen vessels and honorable readers before you, that they may also find your mercy with those who through the ages have pleased you. For you are a God who holds the mercy and kindness, and to you is due glory, honor, and adoration from all, O Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever on the edge of ages, Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. O great God, rich in his gifts, who have granted orders to your church and established grace of ministry to it, and poured out your gifts on your servants, sanctify these your servants also, and appoint them as readers, and make them worthy with all wisdom and understanding, to perform the meditation and reading of divine words and fill them with your gift while they are preserved in blameless conduct by the mercies of your only begotten Son, through whom and with whom glory, honor, and dominion are due to you with your good, life-giving, and consubstantial most holy spirit, now and forever on the edge of the ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O great and loving God, in whose hands all things are held, and by whose commands all things are controlled, who are near to all and stand by all, look upon these, your servants, who are presented by us to be proclaimers of your holy words of the Old and New Testament, that they may expound to your people your holy words and your right precepts and proclaim your divine statute and salutary doctrines which you have appointed for the help and salvation of our souls. O oh God, instruct them in your commandments and make them understand your justification and illuminate the eyes of their mind to the light of the knowledge of your commandments and grant to them that with purity of heart and unfeigned faith they may perform their meditations and reading for the upbuilding of those who hear to the praise and glory of your kingdom. O Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and forever on the edge of the ages. Amen. Our Master and Lord God Almighty, who knew from the first the number of his elect in the whole world, and who called them from the first, who chose us to trust your servants, you give him wisdom that he might read your law to your people. You have now chosen your servants who are designated readers. Give them wisdom and a spirit of prophecy that they may perform the practice of your holy words for your people with blameless conduct in the grace and compassion of your only begotten Son, our Lord and our God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
My sons, this is the first rank of the diaconate to which you have been admitted. It is necessary for you to learn each one of the readings of the Holy Scriptures, the breath of God, which have been entrusted to you to instruct the people thereby. For this is a great work. The one who is assigned to it must be like a lamp shining on the lamp stand, lest you feel the ears of those who hear you with what you read, but yourself be rejected. Instead, remember at all times the word of the Lord, which he said, let him who reads understand, so that through your good progress and your advancement in this rank, your worth might therefore be seen, and you might be given approval to be advanced to the higher rank. Therefore, this is so that those who have brought you in the midst might have a boast that they did well to give you a vote of approval in the proper time and order in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Greet. O Lord, God of hosts, who have set us in the inheritance of this ministry, who know the minds of men and examine hearts and reins, Hear us according to the multitude of your mercies and cleanse us from every defilement of body and spirit. Take away your sins like a cloud and our iniquities like darkness. Fill us with your power and the grace of your only Son and the work of your most Holy Spirit. Make us sufficient that we may be ministers of your new covenant so that we may be able, as befits your holy name, to stand before you to perform the priestly ministry for your divine mysteries and do not abandon us to participate in the sins of others, but rather wipe out our own. And grant to us, O Lord, that we may do nothing wrong through error, but give us knowledge to choose those who are worthy and to present them to you and accept as a subdeacon. And make perfect this your servant who is here present and awaits your heavenly gift, for you are kind and very merciful toward all who call upon you, and strong is your power and that of your only Son, and of your most Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and the age of our ages. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. The grace which fills our deficiency shall come upon this Son, whom we have nominated for this rank and order of the subdiaconate in the Holy Church of God, which has escaped from dangers and afflictions. Pray, all of you, that the Holy Spirit might come upon him. Amen. Amen. Ye Lord, make him worthy of the cooling of the subdiaconate, so that he may deserve through your kindness, as befits your holy name, to labor and serve in the temple of your glory and find mercy before you, for you are a merciful and compassionate God, and to use your glory, honor, and dominion and to the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever on the age of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Master and Lord God Almighty, who in the tent of testimony revealed those who adorn the temple as guardians of the holy vessels, now our Master make your face shine upon your servant who has been granted to be a subdeacon by the discriminating vote of those who have brought him in the midst. Fill him with the Holy Spirit so that he might worthily handle the liturgical vessels, that he might stand at the doors of the temple and might light the lamp of the house of your prayers. You shall plant him in your church as an olive tree laden with fruit which produces at all times fruit of righteousness through the grace, compassion, and love of mankind for your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look upon us, O Lord, and on your ministry, and cleanse us from every stain, while you give grace from heaven to this your servant, so that he may deserve by your kindness blamelessly to be occupied in this ministry, to which you have called him and find your mercy with all who through the ages have pleased you, for you are a God who holds the mercy and kindness 
and from all is due glory, honor, and adoration to you and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and the age of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. We call you in the Holy Orthodox Church of God. Amen. Amen. Abanub, a subdeacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God, in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Southern United States of America. Amen. Amen. We call you Abanub, a subdeacon in the Holy Orthodox Church of God, in the Coptic Orthodox Diocese of the Southern United States of America, in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Blessed be God the Father, the Pantocrator. Blessed be His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paracle. to you, our Almighty Lord, and we praise and glorify your holy name, because you have deigned to do with us, and poured out your gift on this, your servant. Again, we ask and beseech you, O Lord, hear us according to the multitude of your mercies, and may be the blessing of the subdiaconate be pleasing to you, which has been performed on this, your servant, through your kindness, grant to him, that purely and innocently he may fulfill all his ministry, and so that he may, he may find your peace through the mercy of your only Son, through whom and with whom is due to you glory, honor, and adoration, now and forever, on the age of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory and honor, honor and glory to the all holy trinity, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, peace and edification to the one only holy, Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God, Amen. My son, you have been entrusted with a good grade, which is the subdiaconate. Therefore, you shall perform those things which have been assigned to you. They are that you should follow after the deacon to assist him in the work of ministry. As he follows after the presbyter, it is necessary for you, therefore, to watch over the doors of the house of God, which is the church, so as not to allow an unrepentant to enter it, neither an unbeliever, nor the heretic at the time of the holy services, when the deacon proclaims, let none of the catechumens stand here, nor anyone who does not re receive of the holy mysteries. Then you shall pay attention to watch with great care over the doors of the church, since therefore you have been trusted to touch that which is holy, the holy liturgical vessels. Therefore you should realize the me measure of the honor and the gift which has been given you as a wise and faithful servant who eagerly does the will of his Lord so that you may receive the fruit of the heavenly calling through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Greet one another with a holy kiss. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Yes, Lord, who are Jesus Christ, the Son of God, hear us and have mercy upon us. Offer, offer, offer in order, stand with trembling, look towards the east, let us attain. Through the intercessions of the Theotoko, Saint Mary, O Lord, grant us the forgiveness of our sins. We worship you, O Christ, with your good Father and the Holy Spirit, for you have come and saved us. 
a mercy of peace, a sacrifice, a, a, a praise. The Lord be with you all and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We have them with the Lord. Let us give a thanks to the it is meet and right. Meet and right, meet and right, truly indeed. It is meet and right. O you, the being master, Lord God of truth, being before the ages and reigning forever, who dwells in the and looks upon the lowly, who has created the heavens, the earth, the sea, and all that is therein. The Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, by whom you have created all things visible and invisible, who is seated upon the throne of his glory, and who is worshipped by all the holy powers. You are seated is then before whom stands the angels, the archangels, the principalities, the authorities, the thrones, the dominions, and the powers. Look toward the east. You are here around whom stand the cherubim full of eyes and the seraphim with six wings, praising continuously without ceasing, saying, Let us attend. The cherubim worship you, and the seraphim glorify you, Proclaiming and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord ah, of hosts, heaven. full of your holy glory. Agues, agues, Create the simplest in the paradise oh, oh, of joy. When we disobeyed by your commandment by the seed of the serpent, we fell from eternal life and were exiled from the paradise oh, of joy. You have not abandoned us to the end, but have always visited us through your holy prophets 
And in the last days you manifested to your us who were sitting in darkness and the shadow of death through your only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin Mary. Amen. Was incarnate and became man. And taught us the ways of salvation. He granted us the birth from on high. Through water and his spirit, he made us unto himself an assembled people and sanctified us by your Holy Spirit. He loved his own who were in the world and as a ransom on our behalf. Gave himself up to death, which reigned over us, whereby we were bound and sold on account of our sins. He descended into Hades through the cross. Amen. I believe he rose from the dead on the third day. He ascended into the heaven and sat at your right hand, O Father, he has a fountain a day for a compound on which he will appear to judge the world in righteousness and give each one according to his deeds. According to your mercy, O Lord, and not according to our sins. of godliness for being determined to give himself up to death for the life of the world. We believe. He took bread into his holy hands which are without spot or blemish, blessed and life giving. We believe that this is true. Amen. He looked up towards heaven to you, O God, who are his father and master of everyone. And when he had given thanks, Amen. He, he blessed it. Amen. He sanctified it. Amen. We believe, we confess, and we glory. to his own saintly disciples and holy apostles saying take it of it all of you for this is my body which is broken for you and for many to be given for the remission of the sins this do in remembrance of me this is true, Amen. Likewise also the cup after supper, 
he mixed it of wine and water and when he had given thanks he blessed it he sanctified it Confess and we glorify. He tasted and gave it also to his own saintly disciples and holy apostles, saying, Take the drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shit for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins. This do in remembrance of me. This is also true. Amen. time you eat of this bread and drink of this cup you proclaim my death confess my resurrection and remember me till I come Amen, Amen, Amen your death O Lord we proclaim your holy Resurrection and ascension into the heavens we confess. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we treat you, O our God. Ah. Therefore, as we also commemorate his holy passion, his resurrection from the dead, his ascension into the heavens, his sitting at your right hand, O Father, and his second coming from the heavens, awesome and full of glory, we offer unto you your gifts from what is yours for everything concerning everything and in everything. Worship God in fear and tremble. We praise you, we bless you, we serve you, we worship you. into his holy body. I believe. Amen. Amen. This cup also is the precious blood of his new covenant. Again, I believe. Amen. An eternal life to those who partake of, of Him. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Make us all worthy, O our Master, to partake of your holies unto the purification of our souls, bodies, and spirits, that we may become one body and one spirit, and may have a share and inheritance with all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Remember, O Lord, the peace of your one only holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Pray for the peace of the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Orthodox Church of God. Lord, have mercy. Towards you with the grace and blood of your Christ, keep in here in peace with all the Orthodox of the Bishop who are near. For must remember, O Lord, our blessed and honor Father, the Archbishop, our Patriarch, Abba, Tawadrus the second, and the his but is the end. This is spiritual brother and the Patriarch of Agnotius, Marevna, Yim the second, and the Patriarch of Eritrea, Abuna, Antonius the first. And this Barton and the Luther, your father, the Bishop, Ava, you, O Pray for High Priest, Pope Ava, Tawadros, Pope, and Patriarch and Archbishop, the Gracie of Alexandria, and his brethren in the Apostolic Liturgy, the Patriarch of Enyok, Merik, Nietzsche, Supreme, and, and the Patriarch of Eritrea, Bun Antonios, and his partner in the Apostolic Liturgy, our Father, the Bishop of Yusuf, and for our Orthodox Bishop. Lord, have mercy. So right in hand, and the word of truth with them grant them into your holy church to shiver your flag in peace. Remember, O Lord, the Arsus of the Gomez, where is the deacons? Pray for Higgins, priests, deacons, subdeacon, and the seven orders of the church of God. Lord, have mercy. And all the servants and all who are in virginity and the purity of all your faithful people. Remember, O Lord, to have mercy upon us. O have mercy upon us, O God, the Father, the Pontoc, Rator. Remember, O Lord, the salvation of this your holy place and every place and every monastery of our Orthodox Fathers. Pray for the salvation of the world and of this city of ours and of all cities, countries, islands, and monasteries. Lord, have mercy. And those who dwell in, there in God's faith, graciously accord, O Lord, to bless the waters of the rivers this year. Pray. For the rising of the waters of the rivers this year, that Christ our God may bless them and raise them according to their measure, that he may give joy to the face of the earth, sustain us, the children of men, save the cattle, and forgive us. Our sin. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Raise them to their measure according to your grace. Give joy to the face of the earth. May its furrows be abundantly watered and its fruits be plentiful. Prepared for sowing and harvesting. Manage our lives as deem fit. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness for the sake of the poor of your people. 
the widow, the orphan, the traveler, the stranger, and for the sake of all of us who seek you and entreat your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Do with us according to your goodness, so you give food to all flesh. Fill our hearts with joy and gladness, that we too having sufficiency in everything always may abound in every good deed. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, those who have brought you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly re For this holy precious gifts, our sacrifice, and this who brings them. Lord, have mercy. As this, O Lord, is a command of your only begotten Son that we share in our commemoration of your saints. Graciously accord, O Lord, to remember all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Our holy fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the preachers, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous perfected in the faith. Most of all, the pure, full of glory, ever virgin, the holy Theotokos, St. Mary, who truly gave birth to God, the Lord, and St. John, the forerunner, Baptist, and martyr, St. Stephen, the archdeacon, the proto-martyr, the beholder of God, the evangelist, St. Mark, the holy apostle, and martyr, the patriarch, St. Severus, our teacher, Discoros, St. Athanasius, the apostolic, St. Peter, the holy martyr, and the high priest. St. John Chrysostom, St. Theodos, St. Theophilus, St. Demetrius, St. Sir, and St. Basil, St. Gregory, the theologian, St. Gregory, the underrocker, St. Gregory, the Armenian, the 318 at Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus. Our righteous father, the great Abba Anthony, the righteous Abba Paul, the three saints, Abba Makarai, and all the children, the cross bearer. Our father, Abba John, the Egemon, our righteous father, Abba Pishoi, the perfect man, the beloved of our good day. We are our father, Abba Paul of Tammu and Zakil, his disciple, my Lord, the Roman father, Saint Maximus and Demetrius, the 49 martyrs, the elders of Shehid, the strong Saint Abba Moses, John Kami, the priest, our father, Abba Daniel the Egemon, our father, Abba Isidore, the priest, our father, Abba Bakum of the Kinonia, and Theodore, his disciple. Our Father, Abba Shnudi, the Archimedes, right, and Abba Wiesa, is the Saibol, and all the choir of your saints, through his prayers and supplications, have mercy on us all and save us. For the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Recite the names of our Holy Father, the patriarchs, who have fallen asleep, O Lord, reboot their souls and forgive us our sins. May their holy blessings be with us. Amen. Glory to you, O Lord, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, bless us, Lord, repose them. Amen.
us, O Lord, whose souls you have taken repose them in the paradise of joy, in the region of the living forever, in the heavenly Jerusalem, in that place. And we to our sojourners in this place, keep us safe in your faith and grant us your peace unto the end. As it was and shall be, it is from generation to generation and unto all the ages of the ages. Amen. Lead us throughout the way into your kingdom, that as in the soul, so in all things, your great and holy name may be glorified, blessed, and exalted in everything, honored and blessed with Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit. Peace be with all and with your spirit. Again, let us give thanks to God the Pantocrator, the Father of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. For he also has made us worthy now to stand in this holy place, to lift up our hands and to serve his holy name. Let us also ask him to make us worthy of the communion and partaking of his divine and immortal mystery. Amen. The holy body we worship your holy body and the precious blood and your precious blood of his Christ, the Pantocrator, the Lord, our God. Amen, amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Our God, the great, whose name is great, the Father of compassion and God of all comfort, who received from our hands, we frail sinners, this perceptible, true, and bloodless sacrifice. <speaking in Hebrew> Son, Lord, have mercy. You also, O our Master, the good one and lover of mankind, purify us from every stain of flesh and spirit and make us worthy to partake of your ineffable good things for the salvation of our souls, bodies, and spirits and for a defense before your Fearful tribunal. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. May we be worthy to dare with boldness to cry out to you, O Holy Father who is in the heavens, and say, 